for coming today. I'm Jack. I'm Celeste. I think it would be a good idea, you know, to kind of talk about your family. Okay, so. we are a family of five. Jason, my husband, her stepdad, and then Ethan, my son, who is our eldest. Um, he is away at a boarding school. He's mm -hmm. 15. Okay. Celesta, she's the middle child. She is 12, almost 13. And then we have Aya, who is 8. Okay. And then myself, I'm 41. Okay. And I know one of the things that we talk about a lot, and she is in therapy for, mm -hmm. is the fact that um, her biological father has been in and out of her life um, since she was 2. Patients been as far as in and out, like every three um, months, or two months, or one month, or? It was very, like, sporadic. It was then it just got to the point where there was some neglect and abuse to where there was like a three plus year absence where they didn't see him at all. Um, because again, the abusive behavior and the um, anger that he has on his part, and he didn't appreciate that, and so the visitation has just stopped now. Okay, so is he also the father of Ethan? Yes. Okay, so he's out of the picture right now. Yes. Yeah. How are you dealing with that, Celeste? Uh, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> it's okay if you cry. It's normal to want to have a relationship with your parents, so that shouldn't be anything that you should be ashamed of. It's okay to cry. Okay? Thank you. Sure. With all this said, would it be okay if I kind of like map out your family, just kind of get a little understanding of, because I understand your family unit is um, Jason, Ethan, Celesta, Aya, Yeti, mm -hmm. and you, and Jackie. So um, just to kind of do like a maybe go back a generation or so. And oh, let's see. So, Jackie, you. I'm gonna put you here. Oh, that's a bad circle. And then Jason, or sorry, another square. Square represents male. Can I ask, what are the relationships between Jason and his parents? They're really good. Really good? Mm -hmm. okay. We're pretty close. I mean, family dinners, holidays, vacations. Just as just demonstrating that you guys have like a really good bond. And then, would you mind talking about your family? We're close with my mom. Okay. And um, I have no relationship at all with my father. Okay, so this is like uh, M, right, Mike? Yes. Okay, so what about your stepfather? Oh, there was some abuse and stuff as I was growing up. How are your children's relationship with, you guys seem like you're very close, but I don't want to assume. Yes, um, me and the children are very close. Jason and Aya are very close. Okay. And then Ethan and Celesta and Jason, they're close, but they struggle. Okay. So it's just giving you a representation of kind of like some things going on in your family. I forgot to ask, are there any, you did mention abuse. My stepdad was um, an alcoholic. Okay. Um, my dad was abusive, also abused drugs. Okay. That you can see the bonds that you guys have here. Children, Jackie, very strong, and you have some bond, very strong connection here. But there are there is some, you know, cut off. Next thing I like to do is an exercise. So I have two pieces of paper here. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to draw a face. And I want you to draw, um, draw what you're feeling. What is this emotion to you? What is it saying? Like, I have, I'm just liking that mood like, meh. <laughs> like, you're like meh, like, uh, I'm me, mm -hmm. but I'm like, Tired, um, happy, but like tired. <laughs> can you can you tell me a little bit why you're tired? About why you're tired? Um, 
like that's probably me like after I come home from twirl <laughs> or like twirl. waking up in the morning mm -hmm. you don't like getting up in the morning either I don't think her, me, or Ethan like getting up in the morning. Okay. Like, I got mad at my sister this morning. Okay. Yeah, because she kept turning on the light and making a bunch of noise mm -hmm. while I was trying to be asleep. Mm -hmm. Right. And she's probably got more energy in the morning. She knows. Okay. What about you, Jackie? What's your it's face? It's funny because even our smiles are similar. <laughs> I wanted mine to be kind of a half smile and my eyes mm -hmm. are tired too. Like I okay. feel like most of the days I'm happy, mm -hmm. I'm content, but I'm tired. I'm always kind of just like, huh, you know, um, mm -hmm. I'm just always going, always doing. And um, so yeah, happy but tired constantly. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of my sh that some of the things that can happen um, to alleviate you being tired, other than sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we get a free weekend and that's nice, where mm -hmm. we all get to kind of sleep in and we get a lazy day where even some days I'll say, okay guys, like let's get everything done this Friday evening and tomorrow we can just lay around, we can watch Netflix, y'all can play on your tablets, we don't have to go anywhere, we don't have to do anything. So what I'm hearing is that your husband is at work all the time? All the time. Okay. If he was around more, would there be less, would there be more spread around the chores and whatnot? No. no. I've always been a go-getter. Okay. I've always been an overachiever. And as a mom, I'm the same way. And so I feel most of the burden falls on me anyway. And so when it's time to go to practice, mm -hmm. I, and I, make the itinerary. I know what comes next. He okay. doesn't always know what comes next. And so, mm -hmm. um, no, in fact, it almost makes it a tad bit easier that there's no one else there to have Because you've already got your, provide you've already got your routine. And yeah. I don't have to do anything for him. Okay, so that's a good one. I didn't think about that. With Ethan being away at school, what are the chores like for the kids? As far as, um, I'm just assuming that you probably have chores. Yes, we do. And it's probably changed because he's been out yes. to the school. So Ethan, does that add to your tiredness? The, yes. Okay. Ethan being the oldest, and Ethan was also a little more proactive. And now that he's gone, that's kind of fallen on Celeste's shoulders um, to jump in and help out. And that's kind of been a struggle, which we are going to implement a couple of new things to see if that helps out. One of the things we're going to try is maybe give her a 10 to a 15 minute just cool off period when she comes in instead of coming in and jumping straight on chores. So she can go to her room and just absolutely chill out for like 15 minutes um, and see if that helps some. Um, that little break may give her the energy that she needs to. Okay. And then maybe too she can think about what she needs to be doing. And it sounds like you have a, um, a good structure in the house. We try. And roles, establishing roles, and um, it's probably getting a little bit harder to deal with as a, you know, almost a teenager. And, you know, but you probably can see the value in the, doing the chores, right? Someone we know, like, it's our cousin. And went to her house, and I thought when we came in, why like she just moved in there. No, they've been there for a while, and I oh. thought they just moved in there because there was a bunch of stuff everywhere. Okay. So what, you noticed that it was kind of in yeah. disarray, so what did that make you feel about your house and the way that your house is set up, about your rules? A lot more, like, mm. happier that we do have those okay. rules. Well, I do recognize that Celesta is going through a lot of change. Not only what she's already talked about with her dad and the flip-flop that has been, unfortunately, the relationship. It just in a nutshell, the flip-flop back and forth. Um, her brother leaving, and they are very close. I've always been very, very thankful of how close they are. I know she misses him terribly. Uh, to be teenagers, and but 
um, you do have a lot thrown at you, your brother being close with him. And, um, does that help you though, like when you miss your brother to, to call him? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not so great calling us. Okay. You know? Is that an issue for you guys that you have to contact him? Yes, it is an okay. issue for us. I think it hurts our feelings. Okay. But there are times when I just wish he, I mean, I would just love a text that says, hey, mom, miss you. Right. Like, that would make my day. About the relationship, do you have with Ethan? Ethan is on the autism, autism scale. Ethan is not very um, outwardly loving, but he loves you, you know. You just have to know him and, and know that you're loved. You have to be very secure to have a relationship with Ethan and um, not th take things too personally. He was uh, very difficult in the toddler years. Um, sensory overload, it's hard to take him anywhere. Uh, we got through that. We've done years of counseling and therapy and hardly any type of sarcasm. He was very concrete. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't bend at all. So we had to work with him on a lot of things. So it's not that he's very sarcastic. Yeah, and now mm -hmm. he's very sarcastic. Loves sarcasm. Like, loves puns. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that he's even able to attend the school on his own is a huge milestone because they weren't even sure Ethan would ever live on his own. But I feel like for a long time I had to just be like his coach. I did it more. And okay. because I felt like, like with her, we can just hug and love and we love to cuddle up and watch TV. That wasn't, you know, I had to find other avenues with Ethan because okay. that wasn't, you know, what he wanted to do. And I, I thought I was going to have a child that I could physically love and cuddle up to. So it was, it was, it was a struggle. I feel like we're close. It's just, it's different. You know, right. it's just a different type of close. Thank you for sharing that. It's, it's got to be difficult for your oldest to be away at school. You know, used to having them, used to having them at the house all the time. It's a sacrifice yeah. for all of us, but I think it was best for him. So we had to do it. Great. Um, so I heard that, you know, thank you for sharing about your family and um, talking about some things and being comfortable enough to talk about it in this forum for my school. And I appreciate you guys so much and um, thank you guys for coming today.